Takikita mo tong PC na to. Ganda, no? Kala mo mahal. Well, to be fair, mahal nga siya. Pero, the owner was able to use some tricks to get the price down. And yung mga tricks na yun, open sa lahat. Basically, all he did was compare prices. Looking for the best deals, looking for the best value for money, and if you're in the same situation, balak mo bumili ng computer parts, but you're wondering ano ba yung average price on the market for that particular part, this is the video for you. We do it once a month. Our price watch tracking sheet has almost three years worth of data for CPU and GPU prices in the Philippines. Hindi ko na masyado explain because regular viewers already know where we get the data. There are four stores, etc, etc. So let's just dive into the data after this short word from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsisigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sadong depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, so we'll do our summary first and... I think we follow nine NVIDIA GPUs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of the nine, apat yung tumaas yung price. Good news, bad news. <laughs> bad news, tuma- may tumaas nga na price. But yung good news, at least the ones that went down were the ones that you might be more interested in kasi sila yung mas bago, yung 5000 series. Kind of weird na it's the older models that went up. 1650 went up slightly, 3050... Actually, 3050 not bad. Are almost mga 800 peso price drop. 3060 12 GB went up by around 600 pesos or so. 4060 also went up. Yung 4060, you know, maganda na siya. 17,500 versus yung 5060 na mga 19,000. Medyo may argument ka pa why you would get a 4060 over a 5060. But that kind of 400 500 peso increase pushing it into the 18k territory it's kind of hard to argue na, na you're still getting something for saving a little bit of money kasi nga in price difference mga 1000 pesos na lang between the 4060 and the 5060 5060 is newer faster and it has more access to upscaling so there are some things that Nvidia implemented which you can only get on the 5060 so 1,000 peso price difference, parang hindi na worth it. I'd, I'd go with the 5060. 5070, price drop, around 500 pesos. 5070 Ti, very small price drop. Ah, okay, 700 pesos. Relatively small to its 54,000 peso price. 5080 is actually the best priced card. <laughs> it's the cheapest we've seen it. Yung pinakamura that we've seen it is at 75,700. Now it's 75,300. So the cheapest we've seen the 5080 since we've tracked it starting April this year. Not too bad. 5090 slight price bump by around 400 pesos. Not really much considering the price, yung, yung overall price niya. And it's still looking good relative to the prices that it had last couple of months. Still quite expensive, but you know, not too bad. On to AMD GPUs, the 9060 XT 16GB went up by around a lot, actually. By around 1,400 pesos, which is a significant price increase. This was actually a good value shop for money. You're getting a lot of performance for bang for your buck. It's still good value, especially compared to the NVIDIA cards, but medyo na erode yun with the 1,500 price increase. Again, if you're starting, parang this is the first time you're watching Price Watch, these are all average prices. So we look at the four largest retailers, we get the cheapest that we can for that model, and then we get the average of that price. 
9070 went down by around 200 pesos. 9070 XT went down by around 1,100. So not too shabby. But big, sort of the biggest news this month for AMD GPUs is that price increase with the 9060 XT 16 gigabytes. B580 remains at a pretty good price. So if you know you want to kind of roll the dice, Intel actually has a decent GPU with decent drivers now. Not so, not as buggy, not as, you know, parang sakit sa ulo compared to yung first generation GPU niya. Now I think Battle Mage is doing better than the, what was the code name? Arc Mage ata yung last nila or something. So this is already the second gen GPU that they're producing. Not too bad, but it hasn't really dented the market also. Medyo mahina yung market share ni Intel for GPUs. And it's not looking rosy for Intel all around, even with their CPUs, which was their mainstay before. We'll get into that. CPUs, usually not as volatile as GPUs. 9800X3D has gone down just a little bit, but you know, very popular CPU. We're going to be doing a video towards the end of the year where you... Ma we discuss any more bestseller components namin. For sure, I haven't run the data yet, but I'm pretty sure that the 9800XCD will come out as one of our bestsellers. Very popular, good performance, especially for gaming. 7800X3D also went down. This one significantly by around 2,700. Not too bad on that one. 7600X remained the same. Slight price increase for the 5600X. And slight increase for the 5600G. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more people opting na lang for AM5. So this is the last gasp of the entry level of the AM4 platform, these two. Moving to Intel, not doing so great. They've been in decline for quite a while now in their usual market, which is CPUs. I don't quite understand how the prices haven't reflected. I mean, they haven't gone very aggressive on their pricing to try to reclaim market share. So yung king of the hill nila, Core Ultra 9 to 85K is more expensive by around 200 pesos. 4900K, their former king of the hill and still quite fast, is at yeah, around 200 peso price difference increase. 4700K drops slightly by around 600 pesos and the sort of upper mid Core Ultra 7 to 65 KF, no price change. In hardware news, in both NVIDIA and the US government have given money to Intel, have invested money in Intel. So they're hoping for a turnaround, but nothing, you know, th those just got announced. So we haven't seen any practical effects on that, of that on the ground yet. We'll have to see how those investments go and how Intel plans to integrate more with NVIDIA. All right, going on to the per shop deep dive. So these are some of the largest PC retailers in the country, if not the largest. We have four of them. Then we get the average prices. For Wedge, no movement in the GPUs except for price drops. So price went down. So the GPUs, NVIDIA, price drop for the 3050 and the 5080. No price changes at all for the AMD GPUs that we track from Wedge. Husker new entry or you know we've only started using him recently lots of price changes increase for the 3050 3060 12 gigabytes and the 4060 and again yun nga, ang weird na tumataas pa rin yung 4060 but cheaper prices for the 5060 the 5070 5080 and 5090 this is a very good price for a 5090 if you'll recall our average price was at around 154 they have their cheapest 5090 is at 135 so significantly cheaper than the overall market although if we can just jump a little bit wash also has a similarly priced 5090 although kay wash ventus ah i didn't think note yung model nito probably ventus also so those are good prices if you're in the market for a 5090 price increase for husker for the 9060 xt 16 gigabytes he actually has the most expensive. So, and again, that's why it's important to compare prices, especially kung yin lang yung habol mo. I mean, there are other reasons why you would want to buy from a shop, customer service, RMA, general reputation. Pero kung price lang talaga habol mo, it really pays to, or it really, it's worth it to compare prices kasi yung ibang stores, iba iba talaga yung prices. So, Husker, we have the most expensive 
9060 XT, 16 gigabytes. That's the Asus Prime model, close to 29K. Price drop for the 9070. This month it's 44,750. Last month it was 46 something. Not too bad of a price drop. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's why, like in my head, it wasn't computing. Dapat blue, blue. So slightly, my 1,800 price drop. Not too bad. Joker has a lot of price increases actually. The most for among the retailers we track for this month. So increase for the 1650, 3060, 4060, 5060, 5080, and the 5090. Increase na den for the 9060 XT 16 gigabytes and the 9070. All from Joker. So you might want to avoid Joker this month. Not very competitive pricing. To be fair, Joker, uh, they did come off a month. So last month they had a lot of price drops naman. So bawi sila. So th this was last month. Bawi sila this month, you know, a lot of red for Joker. And then for Wash, which always has a good supply and good prices in general. Again, we don't usually reveal sino yung mga to para wala silang free publicity. Uh, but I've always liked Wash just in terms of prices and actual products available. How they get those prices and that availability is a different story, especially if you're a retailer, baka medyo nakakainis. But we'll save that story for another time. 3050 down, 4060 down, 5060 down, and 5070 Ti down. All of the AMD cards that we track, down. If you're looking for uh, the cheapest 9060 XT 16 gigabytes, Wash has it at 2395. Now it's an XFX model. And then you compare it to, let's say, if you went to Husker, their cheapest model is the Asus Prime at 29K. So again, that's a 6,000 peso price difference. Kung price lang hinahabol mo, yun nga, it really pays. It's really worth it to look around. Moving on to the per shop deep dive for CPUs, very little change. So C Wedge, no change at all. Husker, just one down and one up. Joker, two down and two up. And then Wash, one down and one up. Not surprising, there's really a lot less volatility in the CPU market. So last note na lang dito sa per shop deep dive. Uh, we do this so that you can see where we get our data. And also, you can appreciate kung maasahan mo ba yung data because we also point out that, let's say, for the 1650, only one of the four stores had that model. And we take note of that dito sa... The prices in green are basically... are the prices that you see dun sa summary. But we also take note, like, one sample, that's not really representative of the market. So you might want to take this average price with a grain of salt. So nga, we only had one out of four stores have had the 1650 na lang. Uh, maybe it's time to phase it out from our price watch. Although you know, we, we, we try to we try to get the entire scale of the market from major entry level, older models to the high end. Because you know, the high end is a nice ceiling. It's like oh, this is going to be 5090, and I'm paying 60 percent the price of a 5090, but I'm only getting like 40 percent of the performance. Then you know, na even if you can't, kung unrealistic na bumili ka ng 5090, but at least you know na major overpriced yung card na binibili mo just based on comparisons to the data that we have. So we do take note kung ilang ano yung sample size natin when it falls below the threshold of the complete four stores. We do that for CPUs as well as the GPUs. Although, you know, three samples, medyo okay pa yun. Two samples, let's say 5-600G, medyo not so great na. Two and one, not so good. But the three, you know, I think that's still kind of generally representative of where the market is. We also do this, Amazon versus Philippine prices. We get the cheapest Philippine price and then compare it to the cheapest that we can find on Amazon. Dati, like, you know, when we first started doing this back in May, May laban pa tayo. <laughs> a lot of the categories in May, we had the cheapest price. But since then, it's been mostly a shutout. Like, most of the prices have gone in favor of Amazon. June, July, August, September. And we reach October where the cheapest model or yung comparing Philippine prices versus Amazon prices, yung panalo lang natin, yung mas mura dito sa atin is the 5090. Mas mura relatively, pero mahal pa rin siya. But like, you know, the 4060 is more expensive here. It's crazy. 5060, more expensive here. 5070, 5090, 9070, all more expensive. And then the 9800X3D, although only slightly more expensive dito sa atin. But I do take note that nagmature na yung shipping ng Amazon dito. Dati-dati kasi pwede ka bumili. Tapos yung shipping charge lang yung concern mo. 
But ngayon, pati yung import charges in assess na rin ni Amazon, they give an estimate but they don't include it to the total. So you're looking at like import charges of around $85 for the more entry level models, the 5070 jumps to 140, the 9070 it's 165. If you include the import charges, wala na nag-evaporate yung price advantage ni Amazon. Plus you have concerns about RMA, paano kung nasira in shipping, paano kung nasira just in general. Okay naman when it got to you, six months later, di na siya okay, how do you get it replaced? I mean, before it was sort of an interesting option to get it from Amazon. Now, not so much. Logical reasons why you would want to support local retailers here. Just, it was din sakit sa ulo. If something goes wrong, it's easier to return it to a local retailer. Plus, yun nga, wala ng price advantage si Amazon. I, I am kind of curious on, like I've been thinking of doing US pricing comparisons also. So you get Amazon, New Egg, and Micro Center. And then just charting like yung akyat baba ng mga prices nila. But for October, definitely stay away from getting from Amazon. And even if they have like those prime sale days or whatever kind of bonkers, yun yung kagandahan ng mga foreign American retailers, their discounts, pag nag discount, grabe talaga sila. Uh, but just note the import charges. So back to the summary, nothing really striking. It's good that the NVIDIA GPUs have gone down just a little bit. So the more mainstream ones, the price in the 9060 XT 16 gigabytes from AMD is concerning because this was a really good option sana. But in general, the pricing trend, so if you notice most of the trend, uh, well like the 5070 started and then at 40 and then it, went, it has gone down. So it's consistently gone down. We're anticipating hopefully that maybe the prices will continue to inch downwards because NVIDIA is rumored to be releasing the Super Series around Christmas time. Um, and hopefully that will bring prices down on the older GPU models. Actually, it doesn't usually work like that in the Philippines. <laughs> Pero, you know, libre mga harap, di ba? I mean, based on previous market, the, the data that we have, because we have, we've been doing this for three years now. So you're seeing 2025, this is 2024, this is 2023, and then all the way at the end is 2022. Um, wait, let me move the sheet so you can see it. You can see, because it doesn't go all the way. Yeah, and so there we go, all the way, it's 2022. We have data all the way up to 2022, now about to end 2025. So we've been doing price watch for a very long time. Um, yun, and the value is in seeing the monthly changes, but also just in terms of trends. Like, pag may lumabas na bagong model, babagsak ba siya yung prices ng mga older models? Is there seasonality in the Philippine pricing? Are, do sales really affect the prices? Parang ganyan. So we have data to answer all of those things. And of course, we have to update the models of what we track, but we also keep the old data here. So we have old data all the way from the 12500, 7900 GRE, um, even old R5, 3600 data. No data goes to waste, even if we stop tracking the model, old 4080 super data. This sheet is available 24 seven. The link is in the video description as well as in the comments. Personally, I would hold Muna. We're kind of at the threshold. Basically prices, are stabilized already at this point. Will they go up some more? Probably not. On the other hand, there's a chance that they will go down towards the Christmas season, maybe January. I own a PC shop. Uh, it's good for us if customers buy. But, you know, uh, I'm, I'm also honest. And based on the data, based on where we are in the year, based on the planned release dates, my general advice would be hold muna. Kung kaya naman mag-hold if you're not in a super big rush to buy that new rig or to upgrade your GPU. I would hold. There's very little downside except for the couple of months that you don't have that new GPU. But, you know, the upside is possibly lower prices. So goes against my interest as a retailer, but as a fellow enthusiast and someone who appreciates the data, that's what my recommendation would be. And anyway, in the meantime, pwede kayo magpa-cleaning dito sa amin sa Hardware Sugar. We clean GPUs, rigs, and even laptops. So magdamun upgrade. Palinis na lang kayo. Thanks for watching.